With the weather warming up, people are getting out and exploring trails. Well, that means you have a higher chance of encountering lots of wildlife. I met with some folks from Fish, Wildlife, and Parks to learn about bear management and safety on the trail. Jack Austin with the FWP gave a presentation to the public about bear safety. There's places where the sows will teach their cubs that this is how we live, and um, it becomes a problem. How to identify the difference between a black bear and a grizzly bear, conflicts that uh, we see out here on the east front of the Rockies, and uh, bear biology and safety around uh, grizzly bears. We give uh, a dozen of these presentations at least every year. He recommends some simple bear safety solutions. For safety, traveling in groups, uh, staying loud and noisy so you don't surprise a bear, and carrying bear spray. A group naturally is loud and noisy, a group of people. Um, if, it's, if it's down to one or two people, then we really recommend it, as best as you can, traveling with the wind at your back and also just yelling out r randomly um, whatever you're thinking of. Sometimes uh, people just yell out, hey bear, real loud, and it just uh, prevents startling a bear that's uh, resting in a daybed. It may surprise some people that bear spray tends to be more effective than firearms. Well, I am an advocate for bringing whatever, all the tools in the toolbox, but most people out in the woods are not really probably trained and effective enough with a firearm to be that um, to be very accurate on a charging bear. So the benefit of bear spray is it puts out a great big cloud and the bear runs right into it. Uh, bear spray is very, very effective. 90 plus percent of the time the bear never even made contact with the person when they used bear spray. With bear populations recovering, they're expanding their range. Bears are expanding out of the east front of the Rockies to the east, more into the prairies. It's a little less likely the further east you go, um, the bear density gets higher as you get closer to the, to the mountain front. But there's, um, you never want to be unprepared. In Ulm, I'm James Rowan, MTN News.